Welcome to the Master Circle Podcast. I'm Dr. Bob Hoffman, and each week we'll be bringing you the freshest, most cutting-edge information in chiropractic, wellness, personal growth, and success. All the systems, strategies, and philosophies you need to grow your practice and life can be found in these podcasts. Follow the links below to learn more about the Master Circle and everything we have to offer you. Please enjoy this podcast edition, and let's keep growing together. Thank you for tuning in to our Brain-Based Wellness Teleclass Series. This is Dr. Dennis Perman speaking. Today's guest is one of the foremost wellness teachers and entrepreneurs in chiropractic. He co-wrote The E-Myth Nutritionist with the famous Michael Gerber, and he's the founder of one of the most important and successful nutrition companies in the world, Greens First. Dr. Don Hayes, thanks for being with us today. Hey, Dr. Dennis, it's a pleasure to be with you and your entire group. I really look forward to today. Great. Um, Don, you've made a career of helping doctors and patients to understand alkalinity and its effect on the body. Why is alkalinity important? Well, Dennis, I mean, bottom line kind of stuff is, and it's getting even more obvious today as we really look at the research that's being published. In fact, a lot of good chiropractic research that I'll, I'll, I'll address as well. But, uh, you know, it goes back to, uh, frankly, uh, it goes back to what we were all taught in, uh, in medical physiology. Uh, we all use uh, Arthur Guyton's book, Guyton Physiology, pretty much. I think every school does, every medical school, and certainly every chiropractic college. Um, and Guyton uh, was a professor of um, physiology at Harvard Medical School uh, for many years, and, and, and Guyton's mentor there was his physiologist at Harvard, a guy named Walter Cannon, and mm -hmm. an MD, um, a PhD, who, who taught physiology to uh, Guyton. He was one of his classmates or his students. And uh, Guyton then dedicated Chapter 37 in his medical physiology text at least in the, in the copy I have, it may be a different chapter based, depending on what edition you have. But it's all about um, basically acid alkaline balance or imbalance. And, uh, you know, it's amongst all that difficult stuff that was very hard for us to read as students. <laughs> as you know, as we, and it may bring up some new pains today because I, I tell my colleagues, go back and read it, and you'll find it's not any easier to read the day than it was before. But... <laughs> The real, the real fact of the matter is, um, he, when he looked at Walter Cannon's work, and just so you know who Walter Cannon is, I mean, he should have won a Nobel Prize. Uh, he's the one that pioneered the fight or flight system. So when we're talking now about brain-based wellness and EEGs and stress, I mean, Walter Cannon pioneered it. And um, uh, so it was in his laboratory at Harvard that he came up with that concept. Um, but Guyton uh, liked what he saw there, and he saw the significant importance of, of uh, acid alkaline imbalance. And uh, when you dig into it, and I did many years ago because uh, it fascinated me, uh, you, you realize that just about today, currently anyway, every chronic disease you want to point to, Dennis, uh, whether it's structurally caused or induced, that we're familiar with chiropractically, metabolically induced or even if the, this connection or switching from pain-based to brain-based, it, it, it's all inflammation. And uh, the inflammation um, comes uh, typically, I say, from what Cannon proposed. And it, it, back then he was talking about biological terrain, uh, which came really out of Europe uh, in the 1700s and up through that process when Pasteur, and he fought, not, not, not Cannon, but the predecessor to this, it was all about biological terrain. And if we don't mm -hmm. have our biological terrain balanced, uh, we get sick. If we can balance our biological terrain, bugs can't grow. And uh, it's certainly uh, it's true today and it's always has been. So that's what got me really fired up many, many years ago about acid alkaline balance or imbalance, whichever you prefer. Now, you bring up inflammation, and of course, this is one of the critical keys in starting to understand how acid-alkaline balance um, affects the disease process. Now, Cannon talked about homeostasis. He, I believe he was the first one to talk about it. Um, talk about how um, 
patients respond when they have their systems alkalized? What actually happens with the patients? Well, uh, that's a great, great question. And really, let's go back to uh, what happens when they're not. You see, the science is real clear here. I mean, um, lifestyle. Lifestyle right now is the most significant um, creator of chronic, low-grade um, chronic inflammation, uh, a low-grade uh, smoldering, if you will, of, of acidosis, uh, mm-hmm. low-grade until the point it destroys the body to the point where the body then cannot function possi- pro- properly. So mm-hmm. really, if, if you go back to, let's say, lifestyle, all the things that you, and this is the big pitch today, I like to talk a little bit about it, a field called lifestyle medicine, which is only nine years old. But uh, my experience at Harvard Medical School myself, when I got invited there as one of 400 doctors recently, uh, it is massively overtaking the world of wellness, and it's going to be like a tsunami hit us all if we don't understand the actual term, lifestyle Mm -hmm. medicine. But Mm -hmm. what happens when we have an improper lifestyle, and they're saying the World Health Organization and various organizations that 8 out of 10 deaths, today are attributed to poor lifestyle choices. And mm-hmm. if you're a health care provider to get today, and they're mostly pointing their fingers at physicians, but I might as well point them at us chiropractors or whatever your specialty is. But mm-hmm. if you're in health care today as a health care provider and a patient comes in with some kind of a symptomatic problem, I don't care what it might be, you have an obligation, uh, a requirement, as they're saying at Harvard now, to be able to use evidence-based testing to find out what percentage of that pain, quote, inflammation might be coming from lifestyle and what mm-hmm. might be coming from the fact they picked up a suitcase and twisted wrong in our, in our profession, let's say. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. lifestyle, what they're saying is, and I'll just give you a quick rundown. It ties into all the hormones in the body, but the big one, let's say, is cortisol. But... Mm-hmm. When you when you have poor lifestyle habits, it creates um, a real a, a lot of bad uh, cytokines, as we'll say, it's inflammatory cytokines into the body. Uh, so it, it creates the inflammation. That's where it comes from. The poor lifestyle, and you go right down the line. I mean, you can do the obvious bad things like smoke, but also maybe you only get five or six hours sleep when you need more. Uh, you don't exercise correctly. Believe me, mm-hmm. over-exercising is inflammatory. You mm-hmm. certainly don't eat properly. Uh, you don't get the 7 to 9 or 15 servings of fruits and vegetables that provide the antioxidants to attack the free radicals and neutralize them. Mm-hmm. Um, stress is all to, to the max. Uh, right on down the line, there's 7 to 9 major lifestyle issues. But when you have these inflammatory cytokines, um, the body's attempt to make it right is to produce cortisol. Now, mm-hmm. everyone listening, I'm sure, knows cortisol is an inflammatory hormone, but the truth is it's acting as an anti-inflammatory agent. Mm-hmm. It's trying to offset the inflammation. What happens in the body that upset the acid alkaline imbalance? Well, here's what happens, is that the body then has no choice. It has to offset this massive onslaught of cortisol, very destructive hormone, uh, also, it imbalances the estrogen and right on down the line, the insulin imbalance. Everything gets tagged together. Cortisol starts this tide. And so the body then has to have the energy to fight this onslaught of cortisol. It's what it does. The only thing it knows how to do at this point, because you're not going to change your ways at this point, you're certainly not alkalizing it with any kind of a supplement even or anything, uh, it breaks down your metabolically active tissue. And mm-hmm. um, in this case, I'll use the term BCM, body cell mass, just mm-hmm. to get real finite instead of just saying lean body mass, which is kind of a gross thing. Inside lean body mass is a thing called body cell mass. It breaks mm-hmm. down that through a process we're all familiar with, gluconeogenesis in the liver. Mm-hmm. It has no choice. And it has to break down this body cell mass to get the glucose necessary to even try to fight it and Dennis the more we can talk about body cell mass and the fact that all your listeners listening need to be able to have a starting point with any patient they're going to offer wellness to they need to be able to third party objectively measure what a patient's body cell mass is now nobody listening nobody on the planet 
can afford to lose any body cell mass. It's very tough to get back into your body once you lose it, but uh, it continuously breaks it down, and as it does break it down, uh, the cell membrane weakens, uh, the inflammation goes up, um, you can get symptomatology just anywhere in the body, and um, guess what? Uh, one thing leads to another, and that's why uh, Sebastian's work at the University of California uh, in San Francisco um, has, has stated because of these poor lifestyle habits, by age 40, typically by age 40, your alkaline reserves are completely gone. And guess what? Wow. Everybody in the world starts saying, gee, I turned 40, and boy, I feel bad. And it's mm-hmm. moving backwards, by the way. It's more like 35, 30, 25, because you've got childhood obesity. So that's what causes it, sets it in motion. It's really a lifestyle abuse um, tied to this, uh, you know, this, this flood of uh, improperly balanced hormones now because they created it. Now, we're going to talk more about uh, the uh, evaluation diagnosis of this as we go forward, but I, I want to see if we can tie this into the brain. What does, um, what does the inflammation actually do in the brain, and how does alkalizing specifically influence that? Well, another very good question. Obviously, uh, all, all listeners in healthcare today know that the involvement of the central nervous system, the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. I mean, we we are that, and uh, so the brain is all wise, and uh, it's all all there, and it, it, it's really making that decision to to trigger typically the cortisol because it has no it has no no choice. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it, you know, it's self-preserving. It, it wants to stay alive, even though you're eating and doing things that are trying to kill it. So uh, the, the inflammation, I, I think, uh, is, is throughout the body. Obviously, much of it is crossing the blood-brain barrier, these cytokines and these things causing uh, the obvious inflammation of the brain, um, leading to the Alzheimer's, leading to all the different things we have out there. Uh, mm-hmm. But then they're all tied together. And I, th- I do think it goes all the way back to the work of, 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 of prior to Canon. Uh, when we're talking about, you know, the whole idea of um, uh, the biological terrain being more alkaline, uh, we're taught in physiology, whether it's the brain or any tissue in your body, uh, we know the pH scale. We know 0 to 14. We know above 7 is alkaline. We know below 7 is not. The numbers have been decided on in medical physiology. There's no reason to disputing them. Uh, guidance is as good as anyone to use. Um, mm-hmm. You can look at the blood. The blood must be 7.35, 7.45. And outside those parameters, you die. It's lethal. It's, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not just mm-hmm. a bad thing. It's lethal. Yes. And I think this is where the brain-based approach, the idea is so connected to metabolic inflammation, the brain-based inflammation, they're, they're all tied together. We must realize that the body who... As that needs to be at 735, at any one time, if we took blood out of you or me, even if a person had cancer and was with the last breath, more than likely that blood will be within the normal zone of 735, 745, but at a tremendous cost because it goes to the bank account, the reserve, to get the stuff it needs. But the brain plays the, the ultimate role. I mean, the brain makes this decision to keep us alive until you finally done so many bad things that it just it, there's no place to go. Yes, yeah, throws up its hand in dismay. Well, Don, <laughs> true to form, you've painted a rather terrifying and dismal picture of the way many of our patients come to our offices, and uh, it's time to start talking about how to make this better. Um, you are an expert both at uh, systems and in, um, in the biochemistry of proper nutrition. So let's get started with some of your key recommendations to doctors who want to decrease inflammation in their patients' nerve systems. Um, how can doctors use Greens First products to help their patients decrease brain stress? Well, how they can do that, first of all, step back one little bit here. You know, I am a chiropractor, and I practiced for 20-plus years and ran four clinics, and I did use the Michael Gerber approach to systems, and systems are everything to me. I mean, it's the way to go, and I was honored to be able to co-author with Michael Gerber, the e-myth nutritionist, which is mm-hmm. out there for doctors to get as well if they're interested. But the, 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 real, the real thing was my experience when I became partners with the world's largest nutrition company for seven years. The owner, founder of that company, and I were partners. My responsibility then was to try to help his best clients get their arms around 400 products. 
Uh, that's mm-hmm. what the company manufactured. And I got to work with the, the PhDs on staff and all these, and my role was to teach and use the systems. And what I found out, I mean, I got an education there, Dennis, that you can't, you can't buy. I mean, mm-hmm. um, seven years is like a double PhD in nutrition. And when I did leave them, and I left them knowing that they were going to sell, and I thought this is the right time for me to leave, and mm-hmm. I wanted to stay in the world of nutrition, I didn't want to duplicate, you know, two, three, four hundred products. There's plenty of companies that have that. I wanted to find out what would do the most good for the most people. And again, I kept resonating back with, uh, you know, Cannon's work and Guyton's mm-hmm. work and uh, biological terrain. And it's pretty obvious that when you have this uh, need of maintaining this pH balance, uh, the blood at 7.35745, there are other fluids that correlate with that saliva, urine, whatever you want to do that's easier to test, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. will be abnormal. Then what is all this all about? What, why are we going acidic? Like if you take a patient and do their saliva pH that comes into your office typically, you're going to find they're, they're nowhere close to 7.2 to 7.3 that Guyton says you should be. They'll be 5.5, five, five, 6.5. Five. And do not forget, your listeners, that this is a logarithmic scale. So if you're mm-hmm. instead of 7.2 to 6.2, you're a thousand times more mm-hmm. acidic. Mm-hmm. It's not a little thing, and it's not an okay thing, and there's a big price to pay. So it's the, 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 the best term is free radicals. I mean, that, this is what is attacking the body. Um, again, you need instrumentation, and I think evidence-based work to measure a thing called cell membrane strength. You, you, you know, it's, it's, the thing is called phase angle. It will measure cell membrane strength because as one cell is healthy, all the cells are healthy or sick. And, and so what tears down the cell membrane, what causes this low-grade acidosis is this onslaught of lifestyle that produces all these free radicals that need to be neutralized. Okay, our government says how do we fix that? Well, frankly, the only food in the food chain that is alkaline, and even Guyton says in his medical textbook, um, you have to look to the outside in to alkalize the body. There's no physiological process in our body that makes alkalinity. Our bodies are acid-making machines, period, end of story. So mm-hmm. you have to bring the alkalinity from the outside in. Now, in the food chain, the only things that are alkaline are fruits, heavy vegetables, a few seeds and nuts. Um, everything else doesn't mean you have to be a pure vegan, but it, everything else has levels of acidity. And so mm-hmm. the body's got to deal with that. So knowing all that, I said to myself, what's going to do the most good for the most people? What's going to get – I'm 20 years as a chiropractor. I know the neck pain, the back pain, the ankle and knee pains and all these different pains. Um, mm-hmm. How do I chase around the supplement, the vitamin, because it's not a vitamin deficiency at first. It's mm-hmm. really an acid-alkaline imbalance. How do I bring up the biological terrain? Well, the government tells us you need to eat seven to nine servings. You know, it's been going up every couple of three years. It was three to mm-hmm. five and five a day and seven to nine. The truth is it probably should be twice than that. Do you know the average American eats less than one serving a day and children less than that? So the free <laughs> radicals are having a heyday. And if you and I are in nutritional health and we're trying to find a vitamin to put in, a coenzyme to put in that body, there may be some benefit. But in an acidic environment, what do vitamins do? Uh, They they probably aren't going to do nearly the good they do if we could raise the terrain. So I I focus my attention on coming up with the world's best product so that when you take this, and I, I make it in both powder and capsule, I prefer the powder form because it's much more potent. We only have two flavors, if you want to call it that. There's no real flavors in it. We have the original, which is a little minty tasting, and then we have one that favors a little bit over the berry side. It's a berry. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. one scoop of that in water will give you the antioxidant protection of 15-plus servings of um, fruits and vegetables. And one study just two years ago, 2014, uh, and I can get this to your listeners if they want. I'll give you an email where they can email me and, and they can get it. But one study just two years ago, Dennis, was, is so overwhelming, we got to get this out to our patients or we got to get it in our minds so we have certainty. But it was a study done in, uh, in Europe, pub- published in a very prestigious journal, 
that said if you will eat at least seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day as opposed to one, you will increase your chance of living longer by 42%. Said another way, if you want to, and this was at any point that you start, so at any point in care, a patient comes in, if we can get them from shifted from one or less to seven mm-hmm. or more, their chances of dying go down, down by 42%. That's not a little number. That's a big no. number. And yes. so I want you to eat the 54 superfoods that are in greens first. Of course I do. Yes, yes. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. We're creatures of habit. We eat iceberg lettuce at best when it's stuck on a, a McDonald's bun. Um, <laughs> It doesn't quite cut it. And, and when, I, when I get my colleagues at one of my lectures uh, and I bring my saliva pH test kit with me, and they all are saying, well, I, you know, with their chest puffed up, that I, I eat this way. And then we just do a quick random saliva test and find out they can't change the litmus paper from orange to blue. Um, mm. You know, they're five, five, six, five. They go, I don't know, maybe I, something on my tongue. Everybody's in denial. We don't mm. do it. We don't do it. And, you know, what is the wrong with belt and suspenders? Eat the best you can. But when I talk supplements now, I'm not talking, you know, it's endless on what you could get on. These companies have 400, 800, 900 products. It's endless. It's mind-boggling for us as practitioners, mm-hmm. mind-boggling for patients. But let's start with what? I'm going back to the original. Raise the biological terrain. You can test this. We can test to see what you are right now. We can see the damage that's done over time. But, Dennis, it's really eating. It's fruits vegetables you know you're you're pretty much that's all you eat isn't it yeah 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 no obviously you're preaching to the converted here but it's important for our doctors um, not only to learn and practice this themselves but also to become fluent in it as you are to be able to help their patients understand the incredible magnitude of this in essence what you're saying Don is you're saying that people don't have a fighting chance because no matter what things they do to make themselves healthier, if they don't adjust the acid alkaline balance in their bodies, they, all the other things that they're doing are not working near as well. 100%. And I'll throw, again, Guyton is one of my mentors. I'll throw a stat that Guyton's got in some of his published articles. He uses a reference called 20 to 1. Now, what does he mean by 20 to 1? It's 20 to 1. He says this, for instance. If you drink an 8-ounce glass of cola, pH 2, it will take 20 8-ounce glasses of water, pH 7, to neutralize that. 20 to wow. 1. So wow. So get this, get this, Doc, uh, um, uh, the docs that are listening. Get this. The patient comes in and says, hey, Doc, I only have one or two colas. I only eat a little meat. Yeah, it's 90% of what <laughs> I only have a little bit of processed sugars. I only eat pizza, you know, three times a week, not every day. I mean, over and over, 20 to 1, Dennis, you use the term don't have a fighting chance. They don't. Mm -hmm. They don't, Mm -hmm. and they don't get it. And what my colleagues don't get, if you want to do the most good for the most people, if you want to symptomatically, if you want to symptomatically make life better, you would get this alkaline a powdered product in the patient on the very first minute you see them, certainly the first mm-hmm. day. But it's been mm-hmm. confused. They think it's a, a wellness product that when I'm done with my chiropractic care or my adjustments, um, then I'll recommend this for wellness. You oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don, my experience with this is, is quite the opposite. M- what I found is that when our doctors use these products alongside of their uh, chiropractic interventions, the patients not only feel better faster, but they get more well faster as well. So I, uh, I, I do think that most people are messing this up, but I have plenty of personal experience both using the yeah. product for years myself. I, I personally prefer the berry with the vanilla boost, but um, no matter all the products taste delicious and all the products are super high quality. Um, but I agree with you. The more we get our uh, doctors to recommend this as part of the preliminary intervention, part of what they do right from the beginning, the better they're going to look because their patients are going to feel better faster and they're going to respond faster and better. 
A hundred percent. I mean, you're, you're, you're absolutely right on there. It's, it's timing is everything. You know, in my world with this, uh, this largest nutrition company, my seven years there, as most nutrition companies, they're big on detoxification. Well, what mm-hmm. do you think this is? When you take greens first and you're neutralizing acidity and improving alkalinity, that's a daily detox. You see that in the, in the right way. But yes, what, yes, what yes. concerns me is many of these companies will convince us in, in, in practitioner land, and it's not that they don't need that, but they need a, they need a liver detox. They, they need a colon detox. Of course they do. They need a detox. But I, if any of your listeners have experienced this, if not, they will experience it, is that when you take a person who is acid-alkaline imbalance, and their acid is overwhelming their body already, and you detox that liver or you detox that colon with other types of powdered products, it is going to kick up a tremendous amount of acid and throw it back into the blood. It's got to do mm-hmm. that to break it down. Now, the yeah. blood's working hard to get it out of the blood and storing it in fat cells. That's why they got the tire around their stomach. You see what I mean? And so yeah. this comes up called what we call in health a healing crisis. And you probably mm-hmm. remember very well what that is. Oh, but yes. a healing crisis is us trying to explain to a patient, you're going to get worse from where you feel right now before you get better, so keep taking this product. That mm-hmm. doesn't work in most lay people's minds. I'm, t- I'm buying this from you, and I'm taking this, and i got to get work. But you see, if you use greens first, and you throw that into an acidic system, they'll feel better right away. That's yeah. why it's so important, Dennis, to get this in first thing, I mean right away, because unlike trying to further detox from a, you know, a, the liver itself or the colon, it won't kick up additional. It will just neutralize that by giving mm-hmm. all the antioxidants the body needs to cool down some of those free radicals. Well, that is great information, Don. That is great information because it helps to under, it helps us to understand why um, first why alkalizing the system is so critical but also remember the tone of this is the brain-based wellness doctor and we know that when we go digging into helping patients respond that it can create a lot of unrest in the body it's radically different from what was going on in the body prior to that and this is in essence biochemical first aid that brings a homeostatic process back to the body so that it can heal in peace instead of going through this very turbulent time now, uh, you mentioned the, um, the Greens First Lifestyle Medicine Program, and I know you've got a device, the uh, BioScan 3000 Body Scan Analyzer. What does the BioScan 3000 do, and how can our brain-based doctors add it to their toolbox? Well, it, 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 it's a very, very, very important device because when I, when I was one of the 400 doctors invited to attend the Harvard Medical School Symposium on Lifestyle Medicine, uh, and uh, there was 399 physicians and myself, basically, the only chiropractor there. I was honored to be there. Mm. A very intense time. Uh, you know, we had something like 30 different professors. I had a 1,000-page syllabus. Very rigorous because what they were teaching, and they do this routinely there, uh, is the term lifestyle medicine. Lifestyle medicine was coined in Loma Linda, a sleepy little medical school in uh, Southern California, the only blue zone in the United States. Um, mm-hmm. because of how their lifestyle is. But Harvard got a hold of this, and Harvard sees the stats, and they know that 8 out of 10 deaths are caused because of lifestyle, and they're basically telling the medical physician, you cannot have business as usual. You cannot uh, bring somebody in with a symptom of any kind and just recommend drug or surgery. Uh, you must. It's your obligation, and pretty soon it's going to be mandated in fact, Dennis, i got to tell you, in 2012, the AMA already mandated 15 competencies for lifestyle medicine for all physicians that you have to go get these if you want to be a part of the AMA. Now, it's, it's, it's happening as we speak, and I'm sitting as a chiropractor saying, well, what's, what they're saying to the physician, they might as well be saying to us because no one's saying it to us. It's the same thing mm-hmm. with me. How can I sit down, do all this good workup as a chiropractor, and, 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 and not address this issue. And um, hopefully I can mention David Seaman's name. David Seaman, I think most of us know, um, is a chiropractor that does uh, research. And uh, David has a lot of published articles. And one really impressed me was body mass index and musculoskeletal pain. Is there a connection? That's the title of his research. 
He has mm-hmm. like 250 references in there saying clearly, <laughs> clearly there is a connection between um, lifestyle and pain. And he's saying it's incumbent on us, and this is what I love about the brain-based idea, the idea of shifting from the pain-based to a brain-based, but the whole idea, we're in, it's incumbent on us, uh, Dennis, to, to be able to sit down with a patient who comes in with a neck pain, and the way Seaman explains it is uh, beautiful, it comes in with a neck pain, you have no way of analyzing what portion of that pain is coming from metabolic inflammation and what portion is coming from structural and if you don't have a way of measuring the difference of these two, right, you do your typical chiropractic thing. You do whatever that happens to be, and you do your adjustments and maybe therapy, maybe even give some vitamins. You do what you do, and symptomatically we know chiropractic works. And so it will obviously abate the inflammation and pain temporarily. But he says what's going to happen is that pain is going to come back, that, that portion of it is metabolic. And, by the way, he points to, Dennis, so many things that cause identical pains chiropractors see each and every day that have nothing to do with structural problems. Now, mm-hmm. that's, that's a real curveball coming at you when all of a sudden you've got the hot low back or the neck, and it really has nothing, but it's the same thing. So he's saying the patient's going to then leave your office. A few weeks later, the pain's going to come right back in the same area. And guess what they say about chiropractic? Mm-hmm. And it didn't work. And what do they say about Dr. Hayes in particular? He, mm-hmm. I tried him. It doesn't work. So mm-hmm. Siemens' idea is that we have to do it. Now, mostly what came about with the bioscan was at Harvard, they were telling all their physicians that they got to get into this world. And believe me, they're pretty intimidated about getting in the world. They don't know what to do, but they know they have to, is that you have to start with evidence-based uh, evaluations, uh, mm-hmm. much like what you already, your, your brain-based wellness doctors are doing. But let's yeah. say in the, in the world of metabolic health now, uh, you've got to have evidence-based data. Well, the Bioscan 3000 came about because, again, over uh, 15 years ago, the predecessor to this machine uh, I was familiar with, and the, uh, the Ph.D. that was at this nutrition company, uh, I, I had the advantage of having him on this team. And so we were looking at devices that would help us measure metabolic health. And he selected the predecessor to this machine because of all his experience. I had no reason to doubt him, so we went on a seven-year run of using the one before this. Now, the new one today has new algorithms and whatnot. So the rules all changed, Dennis, in 2001 when there was some published research. Prior to that, there was no real published data. But a guy named Picard, uh, he's an MD, PhD in Europe, took the 15 biomarkers that this machine measures and this is metabolic now, he took the 15 biomarkers, and he published data in nutrition, uh, normal reference values for over 5,000 uh, healthy men and women aged 15 to 98, and they're published. So 2001, the world changed because now what we can do, and then with this new machine, the BioScan, it is a scan, uh, a non-invasive scan, two EKG electrodes on the right hand, right foot. You don't have to disrobe. Uh, within a few minutes, push the buttons. Three to five minutes, you get these 15 biomarkers uh, off of, of you, measured accurately. But the biggest advantage is, Dennis, is the normal reference values. Because I can take mm-hmm. any man or woman, age 22 man or a 45-year-old woman, and we can compare her to a healthy 45-year-old woman on these 15 biomarkers. Mm-hmm. And there's not a whole lot of things out there. We all know the value of doing, you know, laboratory work, and we know where the norms sit, and we look at these norms and say you're outside the norms. Where is the evidence-based work for lifestyle? It's right now sitting in the BioScan 3000. We can do a picture, if you will, because I, I do believe a picture is worth a thousand words, and we, mm-hmm. we, we can show, we can feel what stress looks like, we can feel what metabolic stress feels like, we can feel what this inflammation feels like, but can we see it? With the BioScan 3000, when we do the analysis and you get the strip and you compare it to Picard's work, and if seven or eight or nine of these biomarkers um, are out of alignment with a healthy man or woman your age, do you see where the leverage suddenly shifts over? Because it's like, hey, patient, what do you want to do about this? And yes. what part of that is structural? What part of that is metabolic? It doesn't really matter. I have an obligation to tell you, you've got inflammation coming from both ways, and 
I think the honest thing to do, like Seaman might say, is if you do have a way to ana- analyze them and you do have this number and you can show this visual and you see how they compare or don't compare. Uh, and by the way, this thing does measure the strength of the cell membrane, phase angle. It does measure body cell mass. And for me to have a starting, and, and, and 13 other things, for me to have a starting point with a patient, this is what Harvard said, you have to have a starting point if you're going to recommend wellness care. And I, I go to conferences and I say to my colleague, do you do wellness? Yeah, Hayes Chiropractic Wellness Center. How do you measure where your patient's at when you start, and how do you measure they're getting better? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Yes. <laughs> and Harvard well, Don, listen. Don, this is immensely powerful because we both know, having been in the trenches for decades, that the most frustrating thing for most chiropractors is getting patients to buy in past the point of acute pain. We know that they need more chiropractic. We know that they need other lifestyle uh, improved decision making. But there's no leverage because once they start to feel better, they've been trained for their entire lives that you go to the doctor when you're sick. Well, their interpretation of sick is how they feel. And we both know that uh, how somebody feels is not always a great uh, indicator of what their overall level of health and wellness might be. When you can baseline them and compare them to cultural norms, now give or take, I'm sure there's standard deviations that help uh, you interpret it on the basis of each patient's experience. But to help somebody understand that, hey, this this data tells us that you are further away from being healthy than you really would want to be. This gives us additional leverage at helping them to commit to a program of care that's not just based on the way that they feel, but that is literally based on their level of wellness. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And that's why I said the game changer was Picard's work. When someone's got published work, you know, this is published data. This, and, and, you know, he's not trying to sell anything. He's just showing the data. But when I, I mean, come on, uh, when I can uh, take you in, Dennis, and, and, and uh, your wife or any, anybody and say, we can compare you to a healthy person your age, 15 biomarkers, and I sit down and show you all the 15, how many of them are out of line. Mm-hmm. I mean, the lever is there. I mean, we've got to re- have a resolution of this of, of which, you know, again, what created the problem, but it's the pictorial thing and compared to normal. So many devices out there today, I get asked all the time, well, how about if I get this machine I can put my hand on and it's skin galvanic and it tells me what antioxidant I need. I go, really? Okay, where's, where's, the, where, where's the data that shows me what normal should be in a population mm-hmm. of people this age? You see, where's the data mm-hmm. that shows what's normal? Not just because the company decided to say when you put your hand on the skin galvanic, you need this vitamin, and they sell that vitamin. Um, I'm talking about actually published data that has nothing, no axe to grind other than here's what healthy is. And now, mm-hmm. Dennis, you're so right because we can now demonstrate, especially, Dennis, I tell you, we're, we're, we're going to be required to. This tsunami that's coming uh, is going to be called lifestyle medicine. And, and uh, I've got colleagues that say, I don't like the term. I go, well, you better get used to it because uh, it's not all that bad. It's not medicine, medicine. It's lifestyle medicine, and we're, we're at the helm of that thing. But it's coming, and what's going to happen with the AMA and all the mandates and Harvard's going to Washington, and things are going to transform into this world that the new term for wellness is going to be lifestyle medicine. And so you need to get involved in that, and I, cause I couldn't find anybody else to help I started with our profession, but I, I did work very hard and spent a lot of money to form a nonprofit organization called CALM, C-A-L-M, the acronym CALM, and it stands for the Clinical Association of Lifestyle Medicine. And you can go to CALM, H-P, H-P stands for health professional, dot com. And you can see the significant purpose of what CALM's about. And it aligns much with the ILM, the Institute of Lifestyle Medicine at Harvard, uh, they're asking everybody in the world to get on board to help promote lifestyle, so I'm doing that too at Calm. But when when your practitioners go there, it's a way for the public to say, "I get it. You're going to do this." And of course, the BioScan 3000 is on there, shown on there for a reason, so we can use this as leverage. Saying, "Why don't you get a hold of a Calm member? Let's let's do this evaluation. Let's find out how you stack up." I've never had anybody, if I talk at any conference, I get flooded with people saying, can, can you hook me up? Can you hook, I, I, need, I want to see how I can connect. 
that's the excitement, right? Uh, yes. Because it's not me just selling something that, that shows a picture that says you need it. It's me showing you where you stand against a healthy person. If you don't like where you stand, blame it on Picard. Um, because, <laughs> yeah, he, he, now how he got a healthy 98-year-old male or female, I don't know. And how he defined health, I don't know. But he is an MD, PhD, so I'm sure he followed the rules he needed. But I'm telling you what, we're going to compare you in a scan, the BioScan 3000, five minutes, 15 biomarkers. I like to throw in the 16th uh uh, Dennis, I like to throw in saliva pH because saliva pH can tell you tell me how acidic you are right now. That's this moment in time, and then the 15 biomarkers from the BioScan will tell me what that acid has done to your body over time. And let's face it, I'm going to look at all 15, but I'm going to tell you right now. First thing I'm going to look at is phase angle, the strength of your cell membranes compared to a healthy man or woman your age, and I'm going to look at body cell mass, the metabolically active tissue of your body. It's the only tissue in yours and my body that does work. Everything else in the body is along for the ride. So you and I cannot afford to lose one body cell mass cell. But unfortunately, because of lifestyle, that's the one that the liver breaks down through gluconeogenesis. And as you decrease that, that's why Sebastian said by age 40, you have nothing left alkaline-wise. Alkaline so mm-hmm. we've got we to mm-hmm. take a snapshot. We've got to take a picture. We've got to compare it to real norms, norms that... Medicine, or I hate to use that word medicine, but norms that the world accept and publish work. And so that's where this tool is unlike anything else. I get asked all the time, oh, what about this? It's just a BIA. It's just a bioimpedance analysis machine. And unfortunately, that's been so abused. Um, BIA can come, it's how many compartments of the body it measures. You can buy a cheap BIA at Target. It's a scale that measures just the two compartments. Every 24-hour fitness measures BIA, two compartments, fat, fat fat-free mass. That's not good enough. This BioScan 3000 is five compartments. It takes that fat-free mass and breaks it down into things that gyms don't care about, you know, uh, you don't want to pay the money for, but a doctor and researcher needs the five-compartment BIA. There's only a handful of them made in the world, and the BioScan 3000 is the one that's got the most research around it. So um, that's why I promote it. I don't make it, obviously. I just uh, suggest you get it, and then I'll show you how to use it. Then more importantly, let's talk about how to resolve the, the abnormal things you get uh, from the consequence of taking the test. Well, Don, as, as always, you've done an amazing job putting this package together. Uh, having a systems mind, you have essentially uh, encapsulated um, getting patients to connect with chiropractors and to help them develop not only a uh, desire for chiropractic care, but for an integrated approach that includes um, uh, acid-alkaline balance, that includes uh, measuring uh, biomarkers to understand exactly where the person is baselining from the beginning, and to be able to introduce both chiropractic and uh, uh, nutritional um, interventions that will guide the person from that baseline back as close to normal as they can get. Um, This is really what the essence of brain-based wellness is about, is looking at the body not as a bag of subluxations, but rather as an integrated whole and helping doctors direct patients toward the best possible methods of establishing a normal steady state in their bodies. Now, um, Don, you threw so much uh, information at people here today. I'm going to give you a chance to sum up, but if anybody um, listening wants more information about any of the products, uh, the BioScan 3000, the Greens First Lifestyle Medicine Program, uh, the amazing supplements that Don produces and sells, you can certainly contact the Master Circle, and we'll do everything we possibly can to connect you with the aspect of Don's research and of his uh, work that most applies to you. Now, uh, our time is starting to grow short, Don, unfortunately. I feel like we could talk for hours. Um, but um, why don't you uh, make some final comments? Um, you uh, have such a rich exposure to everything that's going on out there, talking about your experience at Harvard and your um, leadership of the nutrition in chiropractic going back 30-plus years. Um, if you had any final words of advice for the chiropractors who are listening to help their patients, what would you say? Well, I, I would say this. Obviously, evidence-based testing is important. We've got to tie metabolic health, brain-based wellness, metabolic health with what we know so well, which is this, just this straight-out symptomatic 
uh, structural pain. It's all important, but we've got to recognize where the world's moving to. Uh, let's talk a, a little bit of time I have on the resolution of this, because when you find abnormal biomarkers, yes, we have a kit out there that we've prepared for this, uh, Dennis. It's called the Alkalize Now Kit. You can go to greensfirst.com. This is the lay site for patients. Your patients will go there as well. But you can go there and click on the different products. You'll see I only got a dozen products. I, I don't want 400 products. Everything I have is, is all about alkalizing the body. But the Alkalize Now Kit it's a box. It comes together. There's two powder products. There's our mainstay greens first. Uh, that's one scoop of that will give you the antioxidant protection of 15 plus servings of fruits and vegetables. We've got to neutralize those free radicals, and we've got to do it on a daily basis. I want it in them starting on day one. Day one is what you want to do. You can run this test. You can show them the numbers, and you can say, I've got to start you here. And I'd certainly started before I did any other detox, or the best along with a detox, but I like it ahead of time. The second product in there is pH alkalizer um, PM. We had to create a second product, Dennis, so that most people are so acidic, they cannot carry the one shot of greens first in a 24-hour cycle to keep alkaline. So sometime in the late afternoon, it's not p.m. because it makes you go to sleep. It's just to designate for the layperson that sometime in the late afternoon, I want you to take this second product. And the second mm-hmm. product is to raise overnight urinary pH and go after the free radicals in a base of plant-based nutrition. So the AM, p.m., if you will, if you will there's a, it's an alkalized now kit. In there is a saliva pH test and a, a shaker cup. Uh, the, the doctor makes $37 a kit. It's very profitable for the doctor. It's only it's less than $90 a month for that whole kit for the patient. Uh, it's the best investment they can make for their health, and I'm going to tell you it does the most good. It also comes in capsule form, both the AM PM. If for any reason people don't like the taste, uh, the, and very few do, uh, they can take capsules. There's no excuse. But to end this, what we got to say is that we must, we, I feel we are obligated, and, and I've talked to two college presidents, chiropractic college presidents, uh, they've heard the term, they told me, uh, lifestyle medicine, they, they understand how big it is. If you want to Google it, go to, you know, go, go, go to Institute of Lifestyle Medicine at Harvard or the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, you'll see how massive it is. Uh, I think someday, Dennis, very soon, uh, most all physicians will be trained up. They'll be using this term lifestyle medicine, and we're going to actually lose patients saying, Dr. Hayes, I have to leave your wellness center because I'm no longer doing that. I'm doing lifestyle medicine. So you're doing such a great service there, Dennis, your company on the brain-based wellness. We're helping us move from that pain-based to the brain-based. You're helping to realize that uh, brain-based therapy and how critical it is so if your listeners are into that and they understand that, the metabolic uh, piece of this is the, the last piece that's significant, and it really isn't about chasing around two or three, 400 vitamins. If we can raise the biological terrain, if we can alkalize that body, now if you feel they still need supplementation, then you recommend what you feel they should have, but you're going to find it's going to do more good because it's working in an alkaline environment. So if any of your listeners do want to know more about it, they can go to greensfirstlifestyle.com. If they go to greensfirstlifestyle.com, um, they can click on a video there. They can ask for this, Dennis. I, I would send them, I, I wrote a 135-page book entitled Lifestyle is the Best Medicine. So I spun the lifestyle medicine words, which are mm-hmm. going to be there forever, into Lifestyle is the Best Medicine. It's a 135-page patient education book. When you become a member of Calm, and how you become a member of Calm is just you must purchase the device. And I'll just tell your listeners because there's no reason to hide it. The, the device costs $2,295, say $2,300. That's the manufacturer's cost of the device. That's it. Once you buy that device, um, then uh, we at Greens First will give you all the support material. I'll make sure you get Picard's normal reference values, information about the bioscan, a marketing idea, uh, all the things you need. But this Lifestyle is the Best Medicine book will be a book that you'll use to educate your patient with, and uh, we'll send you a free PDF copy of that book, and I'll send you a free PDF copy of our uh, patient um, results brochure entitled Stress, Hormones, and Metabolic Health Evaluation. And, Dennis, unlike the, uh, the last 10 of these I sold, I was at a conference this weekend, I sold 10 units there. Nine of them were MDs. 
Um, the medical profession is just embracing anything that has evidence based to it that shows them how to recommend <laughs> lifestyle and nutrition because they have no training in it. And I just want my colleagues, my chiropractic colleagues, to realize that it's it's really good for us. And if if you're willing to also do some of the things that Master Circle is famous for teaching us to do, to go into communities and and do screenings and educate, we, we have a whole book on that, Dennis, that parallels a lot of what what um, you and Bob have been teaching for years. But to go out into the community as a member of Calm, the Clinical Association of Lifestyle Medicine offering the stress hormones and metabolic health evaluation at no cost. That's what we're comfortable with initially, the first one. And then bringing them in, showing them the difference between them and a healthy man or woman their age, and even resolving it quickly with helping with the alkalized now kit to raise the biological train. That whole package will put them on a straight line here. And then, of course, I love, obviously, the brain-based, the EEG, and that whole idea of how you look at the brain waves tying that to chiropractic. It's, it's, it, I think it's the future, Dennis. Together, I think these are very, very powerful ways for to, to, to promote our profession going forward. Well, we surely agree, and Don, that's one of the reasons why we regard you as one of our most important partners. Um, this is uh, this is what the future of, of healthcare looks like. Uh, whether you call it lifestyle medicine or brain-based wellness or, or call it Ralph, um, this is what the well-informed doctor is going to be doing going forward with patients to establish a uh, balance in the body, in the, in the nerve system, in the biochemistry, and uh, in the psychology so that people can experience true, genuine wellness. So thanks to Dr. Don Hayes of Greens First a powerful thought leader who is gracious enough to share his perspective with us today. If you enjoy classes like this, you can subscribe to the Master Circle podcast series. Just go to www.themastercircle.net, click on the resources button, and click on podcasts, and it will prompt you to subscribe. Thanks to Dr. Don Hayes. Thanks, everybody, for listening, and make it a great day. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Master Circle Podcast. Many of our podcast listeners ask about the source of these shows. Well, they come from seminars, teleclasses, interviews, and audio albums, many of which are available for purchase at the Master Circle Marketplace. Just go to www.themastercircle.net and look through our vast library of useful, practical, and inspiring audio materials. And if you'd like to attend one of our live seminars, just call us at 800-451-4514, and we'll be happy to register you. It's a pleasure to serve you and keep growing yourself and growing your practice.